Big news with Elon Musk, Tesla, Twitter. He says he's picked a CEO to run Twitter. Musk tweeted yesterday afternoon he's already hired someone and that she will start in about six weeks. And sources tell CNBC that Musk is speaking with NBC Universal head of advertising, Linda Yaccarino, about uh, taking that position. And we've reached out to Yaccarino as well as NBC Universal, CNBC's parent company, and uh, NBCU owner, Comcast. And now to talk more about this news, let's bring in our own Julia Borson. Should make for an interesting upfront this Monday, Julia. Yes, yes, that's right. Now, uh, my sources close to the situation tell me that Linda Gaccarino is in advanced talks with Elon Musk to be the new CEO of Twitter. We are awaiting um, a comment uh, and official news from any of the related parties. But the timing here is so interesting and particularly very challenging for NBC Universal, given the fact that NBC Universal is hosting its upfront on Monday morning at 10:30 a.m. Um, Eastern. It's going to be in New York. Lindy Acarino usually runs the show. She is the voice um, of advertising for NBC Universal. Um, under her purview, Joe, she has really grown the NBC Universal ad business, really invested in its reach. They put ads and target ads, not just on the linear TV and on Peacock, but also have embedded ads on different platforms, including Twitter. There's a longstanding partnership between Twitter and NBC Universal, um, as well as other places like YouTube. So massive reach. She's really invested in targeting um, and built this huge business, bigger than any of the other media giants' ad businesses. And she would certainly, it would certainly be a big coup for Elon Musk to bring her over, given her strong relationships with advertisers. He's much loved uh, around here. Um, and, you know, Stuff people get opportunities. I don't. I don't know the details, but I would wish her well. Everybody loves her, right? Julie, you know, uh, you know her as well. I'm sure. Yeah, and Be very, very well executives. liked. You know, I've. Yeah. Yeah, very well liked. I've, I've worked with her on various um, moderating various panels and things. But to me, what's most interesting is the relationship she's forged with these brands and in so many ways really positioned NBC Universal as not just a traditional media company in terms of advertising, but also having the targeting and measurement capabilities that the social platforms had. So she really took NBC Universal from being a linear ad business to really build up um, the, the digital part of the ad business. And the key thing here really is that reach. They have this one platform. So um, it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. In addition to the upfronts next week, there is the Can Advertising Festival that's coming up in June. Lindy Yakrini typically has a very big presence there, along with NBC Universal, CNBC's parent company. Um, so she has a deep bench of executives who, who work with her, and I'm sure we'll see many of them on stage on Monday, um, either along with her or without her, depending on how this all uh, goes down. But I think for Elon Musk, uh, you know, as he manages Twitter and the fact that Twitter has seen um, some concern from advertisers, that I think that she would be someone who could really shore up those relationships with advertisers um, and, and really fill, compliment Elon Musk. You know, if he's focusing on the product, she'd be the one who could really build out the ad business. Right. I was remember feeling sort of, uh, not awestruck, but, but envy when she interviewed Elon. You saw that. I mean, we would love to have him come in here and sit down in the spark box. And uh, Linda got, I don't know whether that's when they developed uh, uh, such well, rapport where this could happen. Yeah. I'm sure it didn't hurt, right? So about a month ago, and so I have to say, you know, Elon Musk has been making these efforts to strengthen his relationship with the ad community. NBC Universal and Twitter have had this sort of content advertising partnership. Think back to all the times that the Olympics um, are putting clips on Twitter. So they have had this longstanding relationship, um, which they had been working to, to continue and to strengthen. So Linda Yaccarino did interview Elon Musk at a conference in, in Florida about a month ago. And then I do know that they were both at this WPP conference, um, WPP, one of the largest ad conglomerates, one of the largest ad holding companies. Musk and Yakarina were together at this um, at this WPP conference earlier this week. Um, so they were together at this conference in Napa. Certainly they would have interacted there. Um, so they, they were clearly in touch um, and we'll see, um, we'll see as this plays out whether there's an announcement, whether we could hear something more today. Elon Musk certainly um, likes to tweet out this news. So I'm watching his Twitter to see what kind of 
um, announcements we hear from him. But they were definitely in touch, and it seems like that um, that that interaction they had, that interview they had in Florida, could have strengthened yeah. the relationship. I think they share a, a, a fervor for, uh, you know, First Amendment um, and free speech uh, as well, which you would imagine. Yeah, that and that was something that came up in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. In that in that interview they did in Florida, Yakrina said she um, was Im impressed by and, and uh, supported his commitment to free speech on the Twitter platform. She's a, she's a very uh, well-known, high-profile female executive, obviously, with a huge job. I don't know. This might be a whole new level uh, when, when you think about it in terms of visibility and everything else, even though it's a private company now. But, uh, I mean, anybody, if she, she may love it here, it might be, she may bleed NBC blue, whatever you want to call it. But when you get an offer like that, uh, I, I think you have to think about it, right, Julian? Yeah, I mean, certainly the Twitter the Twitter job is a big one and a challenging one. Um, and the question, of course, is how much Elon Musk will still be involved in the day to day, um, and how much their roles would be complementary. Uh, but we'll be watching for news, Joe. Um, yeah. Certainly fascinating, and of course, involving our, our parent company.